Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still on the topic of organic chemistry and we're still discussing proteins. So last time we left off at denaturization. So if we look at the word we see D. So making it not and then naturization. So not natural. That's how I think of the word denaturization and it gives me a clue of what happens. So what exactly happens is that let's say here we have a protein. We'll make it three dimensional. So here's a protein, okay? So P. And when something occurs such as extreme temperature, so high temperature, so plus temperature, so degrees Celsius you could say, or the pH or acidity or base of a substance is too high so let's say pH what happens to this protein is that it denatures meaning it becomes unnatural and loses its shape so this protein might end up looking something like that and circular and that so it breaks so this is a bad thing what happens when a protein denatures is that it affects how that protein works. So this messes up the protein. So denaturization, in simple, is the change in a three-dimensional shape of a protein which causes it not to function. And it is affected usually by temperature and pH. So moving on to enzymes. Enzymes, of, as we have mentioned before, are the biological catalysts of nature. What a catalyst is, is a substance that speeds up reactions. So, plus reactions. So, plus reactions. It speeds it up. And what we need to know is that all enzymes end in ACE. Let's just have a highlighter here. So ACE. All enzymes end in ACE. So an example of an enzyme is sucrase as you see the ACE and what this does is break down the sugar sucrose. So sucrose. So this breaks down sucrose. So what enzymes do is break down specific sugars and substances so sucrase can only break down sucrose and we can understand this in a diagram so here is let's say this is sucrase so the enzyme is sucrase and the substrate is the sugar sucrose what happens is that each molecule has a specific shape so this here, this sucrose, has this shape. And what the enzyme does is react with the shape because it has an exact fit. So this enzyme fits with this molecule so that it can react and break it down. So this is where a reaction occurs. And the site of where a reaction occurs, right here, the red, is called the active site. Active site is the site where the reaction occurs and enzyme is the substance doing the breaking, substrate is being broken. So those are some key terms right there, substrate and active site. And this is why enzymes are built specifically for their, you know, uh, the specific molecule because it has to fit like a puzzle as we can see here and this right here is called the lock and key model meaning a key has to be exactly the shape of the inner workings of the lock or it will not unlock so this has to fit exactly thus why the enzyme ha is specific so once again this here is called the lock and key model because it's like a puzzle fitting together 
the enzyme must match the substrate and the active site is located on the enzyme that's something I haven't mentioned the active site is lo located on the enzyme where the reaction occurs where the two get together so thank you for watching learn biology and we'll be continuing with DNA and RNA in the next video. See you next time.